What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Almubot um, STEM robot I bought on Amazon for my son. Uh, and on Amazon it's actually listed as the Aokesi, I don't know how to, A-O-K-E-S-I, don't know what that word is. Uh, remote control robot building blocks, educational kit, engineering, STEM building toys, intelligent gift for boys and girls. 351 pieces. So uh, I paid $37.99 for this thing and uh, today I'm going to review it, let you know whether it, it was worth the money, whether it functions properly, if you were considering STEM projects for your kids and saw this on Amazon and thought like me, this is probably super bootleg, uh, especially with the name and you passed. Well, I have news for you. This is the definite buy. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, first is the packaging. It comes in this box. Uh, again, you're going to order it. It's going to say it's Aokesi, but it's going to come saying Almubot Super Joy. Uh, and inside the box, you get bags. They're, they're uh, number bags like Lego. And then you also get your instruction booklet, which is also put together a lot like Legos. And it might not show up on in, in vivid color uh, on screen, but it's actually very clear. Uh, not a bootleg book at all. I've seen much worse, uh, but this is an actually well-constructed book. Uh, it was very easy to follow. Uh, it also comes with a charging cable. So this end goes into the robot. This other end goes into a computer. You definitely want to charge it with something low voltage uh, via the USB port. And it takes uh maybe about 30 to 60 minutes to charge and the charge actually lasts a long time uh, it also comes with a little remote here a lot of these buttons are dummies that's a dummy dummy i think it was one here there's also a dummy it's a little trick on the back super dummy uh, really the only thing that you use is this circular d-pad here all right so you have that and then of course you have all of the pieces to put the lego i mean excuse me the Owlbot. <laughs> together and you can see how big it is probably about nine inches tall uh, maybe like six inches wide uh, you see it here and um, overall we were very happy with it I was actually quite surprised at how easy it was to build uh, the pieces are actually interchangeable with Lego and they hold together really well uh, we also we had another kit uh, that we got uh, my stepmom had my son wanted to put it together he's really into legos and it was just by like big blocks i think that's what it was called but it the size was the same size as lego and those things didn't stick together at all um i would say for the price i mean i wanted to spend a little less uh but it was cheap compared to legos and i'm going to show you guys what this thing can do in a minute but yeah uh it's it's really not much to say just other than it was a really good buy uh it it builds well um we've been using it a lot and it holds together very well nothing has fallen apart everything stays on even this little heart that it's holding here which i knew for sure would fall off because it's only connected by two little uh, let's see just show you how snug this is two two little pieces and you saw how I kind of bumped this and nothing fell. Just the arm kind of went down a little bit but it's pretty heavy because it's holding a, a, a gift, a present here and the hands move and rotate. Uh, but this little heart is only connected by two little uh, dots here and it stays on. Alright so basically I just want to get into my pros and cons here. Pros, uh, cheap compared to Lego, it was easy to build. Uh, like I said, it was in the, the pieces are interchangeable with Legos. Um, they have a very snug fit. Uh, and the robot works great. Way better than we expected, which I'm going to show you in a bit. Uh, the battery lasts a really long time. We've only charged it one time, but we've been using it. I mean, we've been using it for like three or four days for hours at a time. And the battery's still going strong. Uh, and the robot is actually also very fast, which I'm going to show you. Now, it's not like... You can't outrun the thing or something like that. But I mean, I was expecting the thing to go like, you know, just move like that. And no, no, this thing, this thing actually um, has some speed. Now, as far as cons go, I really couldn't think of anything. I mean, I would have liked to pay less, I think, for it to be. Uh, if it were just, 
I mean, I feel like Legos are overpriced. So, I mean, me, I feel like this is worth like $20, $25, even though it moves and stuff. Um, and I really would have liked if you could control the arms with the remote. I mean, this was $37, but it would have been great if you could control the arms, it could control the head. Uh, but you can't do any of that. The only thing you can control is just the, not, they're not wheels, but the tracks on the bottom. Um, and it does turn multiple ways. So to me, for the money, I think it was totally worth it. So with that said, well, let's get into a demonstration. All right, so now for the demonstration, we're just gonna pick up the robot. The on switch is right here, flip it up. Boom, it turns blue. And I'm gonna lift the arms up. All right, and use this bad boy right here and let's go. Now it performs really good on carpet. But it will work on hard surfaces as well. Oh. Doesn't have a problem going over a little obstacle. Alright, so as you can see, you can kind of get carried away playing around with it. So you see how we play around with it for an hour or so a day. But um, anyway, that's it. I just wanted to make this video because I know I was a little suspect uh, before. And they had a lot of other kits as well. A lot of cars and stuff. So I got one car too. I'm going to work on building that tonight. Uh, and uh, I'll come back with that review as well. This is not a paid review or anything like that. Uh, I wish they would pay me something. But... Uh, I just wanted to make it to help other people out there on the fence and want to just know how the stuff works. It works really, really well. So I highly recommend it if you were looking um, to help, you know, get your kids into more than just building a Lego and playing around with it and pushing it, but to actually do something and robotics. I, I don't think that it's a, a huge step towards robotics, especially because, you know, like I said, the arms and stuff don't move. but. Uh, it was interesting to see how my son picked up quickly. He's six. He was able to, you know, quickly understand how the gears work. And so was my daughter. She's five. And uh, so that was cool. So it is a, a very introductory uh, robotics uh, toy. So I would highly recommend it. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Angry robot, sad robot, angry robot, sad robot. <laughs>